Again, guys, you gotta be impressed with the fight, the heart, the will to continue and fight on here by Gentleman Jervis. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, what is that whoa, music? Whoa, whoa. Oh, oh my goodness! He's got a rep, he's, he's got, got the a cup! He's got the cup, he's got a rep, and he's got the privilege to do whatever the heck he wants! And his eyes look focused, it's cash in time! Is this it, is this the match? We might see history made. This might turn into a title matchup in a hurry. Look out here. You talked about the money clip. Oh, wait a oh, minute. That... Inside cradle. He's oh, got him. Got him. <laughs> oh, do you believe here in miracles? Here is your winner, uh -huh. Gentleman Jervis. The destroyer of mine strikes again, and he is Bateman. Johnny, you talked about it earlier in the matchup that... The champions, all of them, including Isaacs, he's got to have his head on a swivel and that Bateman was in his mind that he can always cash in that PP3 cup. And it led to one of the biggest upsets in the history, the over eight year history of this program. Well, it's very clear Bateman has rented plenty of space inside the mind of Royce Isaacs. What an incredible victory though for Gentleman Jervis. What a huge show for Bateman. I thought he would take the easy way out and try to go for Andy Brown's title. But it seems like he's got his eyes on that man. Well, that's the beauty of the PP3 Cup. You can go after any title you want to. Huge victory there by Gentleman Jervis. Take nothing away. Isaacs remains the television champion, but his days might be numbered. The main man hot on his trail. Ooh. We'll see you next week.